Yes, hello everyone. Um, I'm here to introduce to you uh, Menika. Um, Menika is a Nordic uh, fintech company uh, that helps banks create better uh, online banking. Um, Menika is the third company that I start. I've been passionate about innovation at the intersection of finance and technology for almost 20 years and um, started my career on the technical side as a software engineer, but for the last 10 years I've been more focusing on the sales and marketing and business side of things. Uh, Manika's story goes back to the financial crisis uh, in 2008 and 9 that hit Iceland uh, pretty hard at the time. And uh, for an idea like, um, like Manika, uh, about helping people better understand and manage their money, this was actually a, a, a blessing. Because a lot of the early talent that joined me to build the company came from the Icelandic banks that uh, kind of uh, went bankrupt at the time. Also, um, we got early customers in the recapitalized banks that were under pressure at the time to uh, give household solutions to, to help them cope that it's in a big drop uh, in purchasing power. So we got an early start in Iceland when there was a lot of need for uh, financial management solutions. This is from our very first uh, PowerPoint, um, uh, what, what kind of, what the idea was. Um, before I tell you what, I, what we actually do, uh, one of our kind of underlying missions and what, what very important to us is that, uh, and our kind of tagline as a company is that we help people lead better financial lives. Now, to me, uh, this is one of the big topics of our time. All of us, whether we're rich or poor or high or low income, we have to deal with money. And um, a lot of people don't do it well. Their financial health isn't great, almost independently of, of their income. And uh, money worries or money issues are one of the leading causes of relationship issues. It's one of the leading causes of worries or absenteeism from work and, and, and so on. And uh, in many cases, Slightly improving one's financial behavior uh, can lead to massive increase in the quality of one's life. Because something always happens in life and having a rainy day fund can make all the difference in the world. So this is important to us and something our uh, employees really like. Um, we've come a long way. We, we're a mature startup today. We're a team of 100 people shaping the future of digital banking. Uh, we started with one bank in Iceland back in 2009, and now we work with uh, uh, almost 40 banks across the world, and, and mainly in, in Europe. Uh, our software powers digital banks that are used by over 50 million people. Uh, we work with many of the leading banks in the world, such as Santander, Commerzbank in Germany, Intesa in Italy, uh, ING, and, and, and so on. Uh, we're still mostly based in the Nordics, in Reykjavik and Stockholm, but we also have offices now in, in, in London and, and Warsaw. Um, we've been widely recognized as innovators and thought leaders in our space, and, and, had it, and, and I think one of the key reasons that banks choose to work with us is that uh, we are good innovation partners to them, help them kind of define the next generation of digital banking. But I just wanted, in the end, to tell you a little bit, give you a feeling for what Menika actually does. So basically, in a nutshell, we're helping banks improving their online and mobile banking, mainly by taking the data that they have about people's spending and um, helping them uh, engage their users, tell them something insightful and, and, and meaningful. Part of that is having a great data platform and API, uh, but part of that is also having um, uh, great front-end solutions. But instead of, I thought I'd just show it to you real quick, uh, a, a quick demo, so if we can look at, uh, at the demo, yes. So in this, in my phone here, I, I have connected my, so this is a mobile bank where I have my cards and uh, accounts connected. Um, one of our concepts is this uh, activity feed. You can think of it like Facebook for your finances, except that it's, it's not social, but it always has new content. Um, part of it is your actual transactions. So I can drill down, see my transactions, how much I've spent there, where, where it is, and so on, and see all sorts of analytics. Uh, but mixed in, we are kind of helping people better stay on track of their finances. 
For example, here's a weekly report showing me where I spent last week, um, and so on. There's a lot of functionality in here. I only have it's just one thing I wanted to show you. One of the recent things we've been working on is uh, we found out that um, some people do budgeting and financial planning, but m most people do not. It's like going to the gym. Um, it's good for you, but most people maybe don't do it or don't do it all the time. So we've taken inspirations from fitness apps like Strava and Fitbit and, and RunKeeper and added, like, we found that simple focus on simple things, one thing at a time, has much better effect, such as uh, just focus on your food expenses or uh, unsubscribe from something. Surprisingly, many people have subscriptions that they don't want or don't need. So we make that as easy as possible. Let's say I have Spotify and want to unsubscribe from Google Play. I can do it here straight from my mobile bank. Um, another example is this um, Money Monster. Now, Money Monster is something you unleash on your current account, and um, it eats random, small random amounts from your account and moves it to savings. And some people don't like the monster because it's disorganized, but other people really like it because uh, it's one of the least stressful ways they have to, to do effortless savings. It, there's an algorithm behind it that takes money so that it's designed so you don't notice it. You can also feed it um, uh, kind of I impulsively. And this allows some people to become savers that are not. But I'm afraid that's all I have time for today. Um, so this is Manika, um, and um, thank you.